Hey YouTubers, thought I would share something with you guys that I do all the time. And that is my uh, tarp right here. And this tarp is just an old painter's tarp that I put some brass eyelets in. And I just connect it here on the end. And initially, I had some brass eyelets in here, but they just ripped out. So I took some string and I tied it around it and I put it here. And this has worked really great for multiple years. Uh, there's another one that ripped out right there. Uh, I found that I really don't need it that much, but if you wanted it to be higher so you didn't have to duck, uh, you could probably uh, reinforce that area and then just put a, uh, a string across here or a bungee cord across there. Uh, that's a jib pole right there. I'll get it on the inside and show it to you. And how I mount it to the roof, or I should say the top of the garage, I just put some nails in here and then bent them over with a pair of needle nose like that. And I have a little cleavage right here for my rope. I'll show that to you. I think you saw that already. Uh, it goes right up here. And it goes up to the peak with a couple of pulleys. And it goes down to my jib pole, which I have a, an eyelet post set into. You know, a hook or whatever, screw-in hook. So let's get inside and I'll show you that. How I mount it is I put an eye bolt right here in the wood. And then I put another one of those hooks here. And this is just a 2 by 2 or... Uh, post or one and a half by one and a half. I don't remember what it was just a regular square post you bought like at Lowe's and then on the end over here and keep it from poking through the canvas I just rounded the end on it and that's where the eye bolt hooks into and the pulley system hooks up to and as you can see uh, it really does provide quite a bit of shade especially you know here in the south where it's you know 90 plus degrees 100 percent humidity and you don't want to be working on this concrete in the sun because, trust me, that gets hot in the middle of the daytime. So, here it is. This is what I do. And here's my Ford out there and my Pathfinder. And this is the Cadillac CTS we've been working on, uh, changing the quarter panel on it. Hopefully, we'll be doing some videos on that to show you guys. Let me see if I just can't get this up here. So, we've ripped out this whole quarter panel here. Let me get underneath here. There we go. So we've ripped out this whole quarter panel right here, all the way up to the top. And I'll put a picture probably in the video of this video of that, but that's gonna be a project. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a continuing project. It's why I worked on the uh, uh, Oh, uh, the MIG machine. So this is where I had the eyelet here, back to the tarp, by the way. And it ripped. I just haven't sewn it up. And I just run it around over to the cars. And I just basically hook them under on the frame and then run the bungee cord up. And I found this was still, again, the more reliable way than just putting an eye, eye bolt or an eyelet in it. They just pull right out of the canvas. And the canvas has been treated with Thompson uh, seal, so when it rains, it doesn't doesn't flood into this. It just beads right and falls right off. Every once in a while, if you don't have these stretchers right, you'll have to come over here and pick it up and drain the water off of it. But anyways, that's just my little tarp system. And I really, really enjoy this thing uh, in the summer here. In the winter, if it's misting, it's not too bad either. So, uh, give me a rate on that and let me know what you think. And it's easy to build. It's just a painter's tarp. I think it was uh, 15 by 20 or something like that. And you can go online and buy a little eyelet uh, kit for this, for these right here. I do recommend you getting some more canvas and double up or triple up the canvas before you put the eyelets in. Uh, I went ahead and used super glue, but I'm not so sure that was a great idea. As after a while, it gets brittle, and it'll literally just break it. So, But most of the time, it works. I've only had a couple of them uh, pop out. And let's see if I can't find one here that popped out. Uh, this one did. I just wrapped thread around it. Anyways, again, <laughs> sorry for the little side, uh, side thing there, but that might be useful for you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this if you like the idea, if you think it might be useful for you. And uh, subscribe if you want to see some more of this kind of stuff. Y'all have a good one. Take it easy. Oh, and don't forget to read the comments. I usually put good information in there on parts and things. 
and links to them. So y'all have a good one. God bless y'all. Keith Nunn, you out. Bye.